let's learn how to add matching pairs to the lesson to reinforce subject-specific vocabulary through repetition. In the Activity and Content Selector menu, choose Quizzes and Games, then Matching Pairs, and click Add to begin creating a Matching Pairs activity in your Nearpod lesson. There are three basic steps to creating or editing a Matching Pairs activity. Step 1. Create or edit the prompt or instructions for the activity. Then add your first pair. Cards can include text or image. Students can match word to definition, word to image, or image to definition. Repeat to add additional pairs to the activity. Step 2. Determine if you will add a timer to the activity. Consider using a timer to gamify the experience with students, especially if this is not the first exposure to the words or concepts. When editing pre-made matching pairs activities, the new cards will be a plain background. Consider adding several new options so that students will see a mix of plain and designed cards. Step 3. If this is a new activity, you will find it at the end of your lesson and can drag it to the best location. To edit this and any other activity, click the activity to start editing. Consider two ways you might use matching pairs. The most basic way to use the matching pairs activity is as a review of recently introduced academic vocabulary words. Use this as a quick formative assessment or as a fun review in the middle of a lesson. Another way to use the matching pairs activity is to build fluency. Create cards based on sight words or math facts. When sharing with students, use the same activity over the course of a few days, but use a shorter and shorter allotted time on the timer. Launch this as a live lesson or as a bell ringer or a fast transition activity. A pro tip for creating matching pairs is to create your cards in Canva, Google Draw It, or any publishing tool. This allows you to combine images and text on the same card. Save as an image, or JPEG, and then upload each image when creating your activity in Nearpod.